I just want to say this because uh, the intercessors prayed this morning and Phyllis was telling me they saw us going through the, dead, the Red Sea. And, uh, and what she got prophetically, what I think was important, was the word says that they went through dry ground. You know, he dried up the wet ground. And, and what they were getting was that sometimes the dry places in your life is going to be the very place that you get delivered. And so some of you think, wow, it's so dry here. But don't, you, may, you may not recognize that there was a sea blocking you. And the Lord dried it up so that you could walk through to get to the other side. And so I want you to see that this morning. I want Lindy to sing. Uh, we're going to do this. Uh, turn to Exodus 14. You can stand there with your Bible. And I want her to sing uh, 13. Uh, she's going to have a great uh, melody, I know. Anyway, and so through 16, and then I want you to sing 15, 1 through 3. And I just really feel like we're supposed to exalt his name here. And she's going to tell the story in this song because God's about to give it to her. And so as she does this, I want us to declare that the Lord is, we're going to praise him. Because I really feel like the Lord said, I'm about to divide the sea in the areas of your life where it just seems like it's been the blockade, a blockage there. The enemy's behind you. Your promise is before you, and there's a blockage there. And the Lord said, I'm going to dry up the land. I'm going to dry it up, it seems, and though you're going to walk through the dry place only to get to the place of promise. So if you're in a dry place, that's a few of you, right? And you feel like there's no way. I'm just telling you, you may be right in the middle of your deliverance, and you're complaining that you got dry ground right now. Even this, when I came home from Israel yesterday, I just noticed everything's dark. It's, there's been no rain while I was gone. And it's not my fault, but I'm just saying it's a picture of we need rain right now. And so let's make a declaration that we're going to see rain this week in the spirit. But we're also going to see it in the natural. And it will be a sign to us that, that we crossed over and let the Lord just rain. Let's pray for Lindy. God, just give her the song, the melody. Lord, just to declare. And you know, when he says here, let me read it. It says, but Moses said to people, do not fear. You can start right there. Do not fear. Stand and see the salvation of the Lord when he will accomplish for you today for the Egyptians. Or you can say your enemy whom you have seen today, you will never see them again. Isn't that good to put your enemy behind you so much you don't have to see him again? Oh, is that possible? Is that possible? Does the enemy always have to repent? repeat himself and come against you all the time you know jesus when he defeated satan at the temptation we never see another incident where satan bothered him again okay because he defeated him there with the word and the word overcame him and he defeated him that's what the bible says we overcome him by by the word of the, right of our testimony by the word of god by the the blood of jesus we overcome him and then it says the lord will fight for you while you keep silent then the Lord said to Moses, while you are crying out to me, tell the sons of Israel to go forward. I'm going to say to you this morning, go forward. And as for you, lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. And the sons of Israel shall go through in the midst of the sea on dry land. And we're going to say, we're going to believe that for Israel, but we're believing it for ourselves today as well. And you're going to cross over. I'm prophesying to you right now that you're going to cross over. And then we'll declare the chapter 15, it says, Then he said, and he sang a song to the Lord. He said, I will sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. The horse and the rider, he is hurled into the sea. That's the enemy. And the Lord is my strength and my song. And he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him. The Father's God, and I will extol him. All right? It says, the Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. So, Father, we just released the prophetic song of the Lord in here through your word that we're going to cross over. And as she does this, I'm just going to start prophesying as she starts singing this song here this morning. The team joins us here. So, Father, anoint this moment for your purposes to set people free here. Thank you, Lord. declaration 
Just say goodbye to them. Lord, we just release that. of the sea of life is not going to block us anymore. We're crossing over. We're saying goodbye to our enemy. We're placing him behind us and we're moving forward and we're going to see the horse and the rider hurled into the sea just like Israel did before. We declare that over the land of Israel today. We declare it over our houses today that we're going to cross over. This is a day. This is a month of breakthrough. We declare the breakthrough this month. And then they sang this song in the next chapter. Say that again. Come on. I will sing. I will sing, sing to, to the Lord. Lord. Now just picture your enemy being cast in. It says, and you will bring them and you will plant them in the mountain of your inheritance, the place, the Lord, which you have made for your dwelling, the sanctuary, O Lord, with your hands have established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. You know, we just came back from Israel. We've seen this promise fulfilled. We're seeing the people of, of Israel living in the land of their promise. They haven't gotten it all yet, but they're in the land right now. And because this word is fulfilled, it's a word of faith for you this morning to begin to say if God can do it for them from a place that they were bound by the enemy behind them. They had a sea before them, and now they're living in the land that he promised. You can too have that same promise this morning. So we want to declare this again, that you're going to bring us, you're going to bring them, you're going to bring us and plant us in the mountain of our inheritance. Lord, we just decree that this morning that we're going to have everything that you promised we would have. 
Lord, that we would partner with you in that commonwealth of Israel. Oh, Lord, we got grafted in and we're going to receive our promise as well. I speak to the Caleb's that are in this room right now. I kept hearing the spirit of Caleb who didn't have his promise and he went to Moses. I mean, he went to uh, Joshua and he went to others and he said, it's time for me to receive my promise. I have come this far. I have crossed over. I don't want to just be on the other side. I want to receive everything that the Lord has for me on this other side. So we want to make that declaration this morning. eternal and the Lord shall everything he's forever. promised is forever and forever. ever they came out and they began to sing with timbrels and dancing and they said sing to the Lord for he is highly exalted the horse and his rider has hurled into the sea and this was a prophecy that Miriam had had she had seen it before it had ever happened we did a whole study on that and where God had already shown her how Moses was delivered as a baby in the Nile that God would deliver Israel in the Red Sea and so God has already I want you to understand this. God has already seen your breakthrough it's just a matter of you start prophesying it like Miriam did. She was singing a song of knowledge that she already had. So when she saw it happen, she was just in agreement with it. So, Father, we just decree that right now you already have our deliverance plan. You already have a doorway open. You've already dried up the sea. You've already made it to the other place. And, Lord, we just have to agree with it. And we sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. We say that, Lord, our horses and our riders that are coming against us are going to be hurled into the sea, the very place that was your blockage. The very thing that was keeping you from your promise, you're going to watch the enemy be drowned in the place that kept you from your promise. So, Lord, we make that declaration this morning as well.
Let's declare that again. He is the one who was and is. That declaration. He's the one who was and is and is to come. He's the one who was and is and is. Just the drums. Just the drums. Come on. He's the one who was and is and is to come. He's the one who was and is and is to come. Come on, just the sound of your hands. Let's make a rhythm here. The steps of a righteous man are ordered of the Lord. And that means in Scripture, it's like the rhythm of a drum. It gets you in sequence. It gets you in, in a sequence with the Lord. Come, come on, sing it. Join. And the worthy one is about to walk through your door and visit you in a way that you've never experienced before. For as he walks through the door, you will be amazed that he showed up in your midnight hour. And you will wonder, where have you been all along? And the Lord said, I'll say to you at that moment, I was preparing your way. Be not discouraged, the Lord says, in this season of waiting and in this season of what it seems to be silence over your destiny. For it has only been a season of preparation and you are about to enter the narrow place. For the Lord said this is a season that we will go through the eye of the needle. And it seems like it's too narrow to go through. But the Lord said I'll make a way for you to go through. And as you go through this place, you'll move into the very place that I had prepared for you. But it is a narrow place that you must go through. And as you feel the squeeze, the Lord says, from the right and the left, it's only to prepare you to go through the eye. For the eye is a narrow place that only you and him can go through together. For your pride and your issues will not be able to go through this place. So that is the squeezing that you've been through. And get this, I just kept seeing this. Even the squeezing has produced the oil. It's going to cause you to go through the, the narrow place. For the Lord said, I choose to crush, not to discipline in anger, but I choose to crush to remove everything that's not of me so that you can get to where you will be with me. And this is where we are this morning. This is the season. This is the moment we're at. And I kept hearing this. The Lord said, this is a moment of decision. For the Lord said, you can stay on the other side of the eye. And you can live in the broad place. But always remember, it always leads to destruction. But if you choose to go through the eye, 
don't be surprised at what happens along the way. It's only a preparation so that you can get on the other side. And we've said this before here prophetically. The other side is a new broad place full of promise, full of hope, full of purpose for your life. But you can't get there without going through the narrow place. So, Father, strengthen us this morning to make a willing decision that we're going to go through. That we're going to go through. That we're not going to look at this season as a negative season, but we're going to see it as a season of preparation to a season of breakthrough. Father, I thank you for that. I thank you for that.